usually it's like an on occasion it's like maybe 40 minutes later than normal depending on how often people camped but oh. nobody's been really camping so far so it's, it's I working can change, i can change that no <laughs> stop that i'm going back to fits oh, that's right yeah beads. that's right you you've been you've been you've been not helping the data <laughs> because you've been playing mark <laughs> hey i, I will say go, uh, give him a thumbs up I would say I watched that Grace Pitts and the one and like honestly I'm not quite as impressed as people said I would be. To, but the one thing no, I will no. say, the one thing I will say, he has shown me a different way to think about advantage stage, which is significantly more yeah, impressive. That, than what that's the thing is I think his advantage was absurd, but I've also seen you do a majority of what he did. So it's like okay, Skink opened my eyes to like what they could do already. It's just that. Zachary kept it his turn the whole time. The decision like, making. Is yeah, so he, he had everything covered by them. It was absurd. I loved watching it. I can't All wait right. to see you do that too. However, we got instead of me, we got two other very, yes. very quick people right here looking for the jab reset yeah. for the jab too high, so they're not gonna miss. I am so happy to watch these two go at it because like Zoo uh, Zoo is always doing that like shift of characters, right? Oh, we always course. expect him to play something different every week. But I am actually a big fan of his Terry. He just doesn't believe in his Terry. <laughs> So it was like you never got to see it. But TRL is somebody who is always second guessing how good he is as well. But when he comes out, he just cooks people as we see him almost take the first stock right there. Like he is uh, so greedy. Leading that air dodge in with up smash of all things. Most people go for down tilt, get that active hitbox. And that was Zero wants a kill. It was so good because he knew that Zoo's only option was either A, drop low, try and uh, go for an up E, which would have been probably challenged by down tilt, or B, he goes for side B, but he's avoiding a down air. And TRL stock one read, read all of that. Alright, 115% is by no means something that Terry cannot make back, especially when you get a power dunk, but that perfect DR is gonna put Terry in the corner and alive. So, uh, just trying to just trying to find that straight hit, uh, which is that move right there. We'll definitely take it. Oh yeah. But, uh, okay, you have to hit it. Oh my God. See, spike. This is, is what we were expecting before. He was trying to play around the potential of down tilt or a spike. I forgot up tilt was even in the picture on that. So what that is up tilt. Spike? <laughs> what is an up move spike? <laughs> up move will also kill off the top, but it's your up, charge up, up move going down. <laughs> Uh, right now, TRL reading that roll. He's got him in a really bad spot. Easy frame traps. That's one of the things that Terry does struggle with. His disadvantage could be pretty linear against hyper aggressive characters. I'm trying to go over that landing there, but he's actually going to get shield poked. He might have poked shield, actually. For that uh, back. Yeah, that's how yeah, I actually he's on stage. He wants something, but going for the invincible yes. uh, rising tackle to, to get him out of there. But uh, one good mistake off of an up B, and he, there's no world where Terry makes that back. Might not even get that right now because he's just going to drop all the way off stage. Look for him. No. Actually, max distance from Zoom. Yeah. He's going to be happy taking this ledge map. He's going to get jab, jab, buster. All right. Whoa, there's a world where Zoom's Oh, there's nice. a hundred. There's, not even, there's not, a lot of Not even just this. off of go meter. Never mind. Never mind. Yep, that was okay. the most anticlimactic way that could have ended. <laughs> TRL did not want to listen to our ideas. TRL wanted the back air. The back air hits. Terry, I'm not even sure if that was optimal, but like I could very well believe you want to drift away. Yeah, I, I think what I, I think like what it. happened is is uh, he was trying to uh, jump cancel side B or something like that mm -hmm. to get himself over because it was a really weird direction he got. He was very horizontal, so there wasn't any mix-ups he could have taken, and uh, he just got pulled in. Yep, yep, yep. But. Uh, there are many, many true combos Terry has against a fast follower like Falcon to combo into Spike. Fast follow, so bigger you, body too. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, game number two. Um, so I did lie. It wasn't a five-minute set overall because that last one did take two minutes. But um, hey, I mean, as you can see, <laughs> you can see one, two yeah, one-minute games right now. True, true. Yeah, every game uh, is average. Is gonna average. Never no, mind. Oh no, that is a huge as the. Uh, I mean, Zoo can answer right back, but the last thing you want to do is give an SD up to someone like Captain Falcon, because that means he's just going to recklessly like run all over you now. I'm trying to go for the downer, but getting it stuffed out by the uh, power dunk. Still looks a little scary, though. Did you say Tiro got the hair of Bro, for one, that's an old reference. Two, how even old are you to be making that reference? <laughs> Did you watch Richie Rich? Rich? <laughs> How do you even know about the existence of that? <laughs> There's Nair the one. Let's see what he's able to do Ooh. with it. He's able to do exactly what he wants. Nair one landing up their knee. Uh, right now we got two stock lead up for TRL, and that that uh, SD is looming heavy at the moment. Uh, so what's um? The rising tackle on a high stage. It's actually not gonna kill you. Backers can push mostly. Ooh, he's lucky he didn't get pushed off, but at this point, Zero can just, he can reset, exactly, he can reset he's on that trying, platform. Yeah, he's trying to go for something a little stylish. Zero is cooking, and the food is delicious. 
Right now, Zoo is not trying to eat it, though. And currently, he has no choice. Uh, he, has, he has to eat the veggies before, before he can have his snack. And um, to be honest, I don't think it's going to be Terry that's finishing this meal. I think Terry is going to be exiting the building uh, after this game. And the dash tag, he's going to get something on the board. I mean, there are some comeback. There is comeback potential on this character, more than enough. But yeah, it's, it is still possible. It's just in one of those perfect worlds. <laughs> this time, it's actually just in a world. Yeah, this is this is a, a this is 100% like a, a game's done quick, no damage percent run that you need to have right now. You can't, you really can't take too many other mistakes. Uh, Tyrell just needs one good one. He's starting to go over that side of the up there. It's gonna be killing pretty soon. There, in fact, he only got hit by arrow. It's actually good in that case. Well, or that happens. The second SD. That one. I mean, to be fair, it was a weird place. Yeah, it it was. It, it, it was a very awkward position where he tried to go for it, and he got dragged a little bit underneath. But also, he was at such a high percent that anything yeah. at all was going to eventually kill. So, see if he stays with it. Uh, sometimes This is how Zoo works, right? He'll stay with the character committed for at least, like, one portion of the bracket he's in sometimes. But then the next tournament, he'll immediately switch off him because of what happened the last time. Um, 1998. Oh, four years old. Oh, the Sora? The Sora? The Sora? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Whoa. All right, that ain't Sora. That is definitely not Sora. All right, so we got game number three. Uh, the Zoo Wolf was what was playing winners earlier. Yep. It is also what got him a... Uh, uh, I can't remember what he played last week, but I think he got fifth last week. And it was... Uh, Oh, no, 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 it was fourth, and it was a double elimination to six. So um, the Wolf has still been looking phenomenal, especially against a character like Captain Falcon, who's pretty easy to ledge track. Let's take a little bit of the ledge right now, but this is the reverse grab. is going to be able to get him. Off stage in a funny way. Good. but that's good coverage. That was brave from TRL, too. I mean, at worst, you get that you get that nair and you accidentally trade. But um, the fact that I felt like Zoo had more times of setting him off stage, but his ledge trapping just hasn't been completely on point. This is where he needs to build his damage. Though. He's got him at 87, goes off stage. Oh, the nair sends oh, up the other the way. way. But he's still going to have his ledge trap position still in the corner. Bound kicks out of there, but once again, we're sitting in this pretty neutral situation. Walks up, back. There. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Zoo has brought this all the way back too after that pretty large amount of damage that he took. And, uh, he finally gets a punish on forward smash. That is a very rare occasion. Yeah, it's like not a, easy to punish that. Quick move, but the back throw. I don't think it's gonna be killing yet, but it's oh, never mind, I'm alive. Yeah, Town of City. Town of City definitely City. helping. Probably a little bit of rage too. Rage definitely helping, but Town. But I cannot be enough there, probably because he didn't have that rage. Once he's one uh, after the bit there. Yeah, surprisingly quick reaction on that DI too, because like considering how high a damage you are, sometimes you don't even prepare to DI something like that. But uh, he's getting a lot of straight hits. This is all just build damage, because you're on uh, a quote unquote borrowed time here. And I was looking to soft hit back here, so he's still not dead. Going aggressive on that side B and calling out that spot or that get up attack. He's gonna be looking pretty good. Almost calling out the jump as well. And Zeus showing that he needs to play the, the wolf the entire time during this matchup. And that Nair will that definitely air. take it, especially because it was the soft variation. Yep. Like, he didn't send them upward, he sent them perfectly down. As recognized that did use the jump, like, they're really more that many options to do there. At worst, he gets a trade and stuff, maybe he still gets a from from that. TRL is, he is looking very lost here in this game three against this wolf. Like, it started off good, just calls out a jump with yeah. up B. Like, that was one of those I hope this works kind of situations, but hey. it was still, it still got the job done. Hope well, things enough does work. But right now, we're going to see Zoo kind of holding the center with all these nares, but first option to side B. And, ooh, wait a minute. Nice little damage. Oh, if he had the dodge read yeah. right there, that would have been phenomenal. But he did catch him on the double jump, so even if he doesn't die to that back air, double jump's already gone. You're probably just dying to the yeah. reactive F tilt or the Nair at ledge anyways, and that puts Zoo on the board. All right, Zoo taking the first game of the set using Wolf. But still takes two more without dropping any. Yes, and different timeline before two weeks ago. Uh, this would have already been over because it was only one of Zeus's grands that was best of five. And instead, uh, Zeus' uh, tournament life gets to stay alive because we did move that further down, and I I'm here for it. I, I think that it's, I, I get it's been leading to better sets and better opportunities for people to get a chance at winning it all. So I I'm I've been enjoying it. All 
Alright, but well right now we're gonna go back to PS2, getting that landing there, see where he's able to combo off it, but still with platform messing things up, I can give him Zoom more damage than the initial combo. Yes, also, uh, this, oh, wait, jab lock in the side B. Uh, doesn't go, uh, just goes for straight up damage, I like it. Don't try to get too fancy against someone like Zoom. He'll react to your attempt to try to get a jab lock. But, um, something I'm realizing, uh, this match particularly, I'm never forgetting my camera at home again. Uh, they, these two are sitting full, so far apart from each other, and there's just one dead space in the center. I need my two-player cams back. I'm too, I was too spoiled by it last week. Now smash coverage. Oh, wow, he's dead. Okay. Uh, oh, very, very fresh <laughs> out smash. Oh, my God. You know, <laughs> I still can't believe that Dolph is at one point. That, that move is... A, is a, a catastrophe. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, true. <laughs> true, Down Smash was nerfed. <laughs> oh boy. It's clearly now a weak move that is not kill at early results. There are a lot of people who don't, who don't understand the pain of Pichu F tilt. Uh, that's all I'll say. Uh, I didn't play Pichu, but I still didn't play it. Was so, it was so absurdly funny. It was oh, so absurdly <laughs> funny. That move, that, that move was better than some characters. Like, man. <laughs> no cap, <laughs> but uh, currently Falcon Kick, he yes. does use that pretty often from ledge to be honest, as like a, you aren't gonna expect this first option, and it will work. It will work, I mean, Zoo was, was trying to call out so many like rolls and jumps, and TR to like, you know, you're going outside, me or down me. So like, but what if you don't? <laughs> <laughs> right now Zoo is uh, trying to build on the thing that he has going here, 152, but um, I'm not. Okay, all right, stop my sentence, but I was like, the way that Tyrell's playing, like, I'm not too convinced that he might not lose his stock first, because Tyrell is definitely been getting a lot, but you see right here, he's been getting a whole oh, lot bears. more. I did not know that Falcon can, like, combo first on this like that. He's just going for all these triple three first up airs, three dares on platform. You see, it, because it's Tyrell, I know that he knows that that works, but if it was, like, your average Captain Falcon's like, bro, my dude is just mashing up here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he, just not he ready. exactly what he's doing. Sometimes it's terrifying, other times it's just funny. It's so scary. There's just a way, Cap like, Captain Falcon hits you once and yeah. then you die, and, uh, no, no control over the whiffed, uh, roll there either. Like, he's... Zoo, Zoo was reading every single tech option before that, and that was the first one he finally messed up. The back throw is actually gonna be enough. That surprised me a little bit. I didn't realize where his percent was, so I wasn't ready for the back throw kill option at ledge, but TRL definitely was. Here comes Zoo, though. Forces him the air dodge away. I like that. Just go to ledge. Like, even though it's Wolf, it's better than just trying to land directly on top of an up air. Better than being, better than taking more damage, better than being dead. Zoo would have reset neutral. But right now, another down smash. This one not actually killing. Ooh. Front hit gonna be a long week at the back hit. No oh, shot! Bro. Drift on that up B. <laughs> gets the downer to punish him for being so aggressive. Literally the single mistake that Zoo made that oh. game. The single mistake was trying to catch him and the drift from his up B was just so good. He got just around it and he steals away the set, knocking out Zoo from bracket and keeping his tournament run alive. So. That was hey, that was that was really good. That was great. I mean, like that that was that is exactly what high level play is. Rec